Hi, my name is Steven. I'm 16 years old and I currently attend the local Harwood High School. So what inspired you to come to Spark today? In, well, in high school I'm taking a feminism course and in the beginning of the feminism course we learned about theory, we learned about just the, what is feminism. And so right now we're really just taking it to action. And this is one of the small parts of taking what we learned into action. So what does feminism mean to you? Feminism to me is just about social justice and getting equity for everyone, you know. For the Muslims right now because there's so much hate around the world against Muslims, just like really rational and hateful comments towards Muslims. You know, for the uh, LGBT community, you know, recently there's been a lot of suicides, just getting that out of the way and like avoiding that type of thing. You know, getting rid of racism. Even though it's not a very strong racism, it's very subtle and that's something that needs to be addressed. And like here at the Spark Summit, we're here to address sexualization of girls. So why do you think there aren't, that men are maybe reluctant to get involved in feminism or to identify themselves with feminism? Well, it, it's, just, it's really just about the word. I mean, you don't even have to know the definition to have a reaction. It's just because of the word, we can ask feminine in it, and means like woman, and so they automatically think it's about women, like, you know, what female supremacy, and it's about women hating men, and like, men, like, just being less than women, that type of thing. That's why a lot of men are, like, not very encouraged to go to these type of events. But you think there is definitely a place for men in feminism? Definitely. I mean, they play a role. They have sexualization of girls. I also feel like it affects men. Like sometimes I feel like girls only see guys as like pieces of meat sometimes. I mean not as much as um, men to women, but I sometimes feel like women do see men as pieces of meat. Like if they don't have muscles or they don't like good, um, aren't good looking, then women aren't really going to pay attention to them. So, so everyone needs to be seen as whole people. Yeah, I feel like everyone should be seen as whole people. And men... They, you know, since they're a part of the group that is oppressing, even if they're not necessarily doing the oppressing, but they're still a part of the group, they should be helping to stop that, because they're the ones who can really talk to the people who are oppressing. So when you leave here today, how will you spark a movement? Well, one of the ways I can spark a movement is just spreading the word. And also, if I see something in the street, because before I wasn't really encouraged to stop anything in the street, but now I feel like more empowered to stop something in the street. I feel like it's more necessary, I feel like I should be doing this. So like if I see some sort of sexual harassment in the street or any sort of harassment in the street, I'm gonna like stand up for it. Because for example, I can give an example recently. Um in the subway from a feminism class we're reading a uh, story about sex trafficking and the title of it was um, Black Girls Are for Sale. And there was this one guy on the subway who tapped him on the shoulder and he said are there any white girls for sale? And I just looked at him and said, like, that's not funny. And then that was, like, really one of the moments that, like, came to me. Like, this is actually a real topic. It's not just, like, an isolated incident. So men can stand up for women when other men are harassing them? And... Yeah, they definitely should. I mean, in that position, women really won't get the voice to say anything because men will just shut up their ears. It's, oh, it's a woman, so I'm not going to listen to her. But if a guy or, like, their friends say, oh, that's not okay, then maybe they might listen and maybe they might consider what they're doing. That's great.